Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Cadillac House here at Pebble Beach. It's always chilly in this place, but I hope that uh, the experience tonight and the new car that we're going to present to you will provide enough excitement and energy to compensate for the chill. And so tonight, you have the opportunity to preview the new Cadillac design language, which is being incorporated into every single one of the new products that will transform the product portfolio on our dealer showrooms over the next five years. This car debuts the next evolution in Cadillac design, and it showcases the avenue that we will pursue as we embark on this long and challenging journey, but also a very rewarding journey, to take the brand back to where it wants to be. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and my privilege to introduce you to the Cadillac Escala concept. And so I think it's only right that we ask the man who created this masterpiece to come and tell us more about this wonderful new car. Andrew, over to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, thanks, everybody. This is the Cadillac Escala. All great concept vehicles begin with a design brief. And the design brief for this vehicle was intriguing. Consider a future vision of a chauffeur-driven Cadillac, but one that you would desperately want to drive yourself. That was the brief we gave to the designers, and this is their response, Cadillac Escala. As you can see, the vehicle has presence, it has a wonderful stance. It is an absolutely fantastic design. Escala is actually Spanish for scale, and you can see in the person the scale of this vehicle. Like all Cadillac designs, this vehicle develops the design philosophy both in form and line and proportion. It also takes a future vision of detailing. And here specifically, you can see on the front end a future vision for the face of Cadillac. So we've retained the vertical lamp signature, but introduced a horizontal element and then driven it deep into the front of the vehicle to give it a sinister look. Those lamps frame a familiar shape, the, the, sorry, the shield-shaped grille, but it features a technical precision pattern inlay as a texture. Moving down the vehicle, you can see that it sits comfortably on its 22-inch wheels. I'm really proud of these wheels. They're a multi-spoke design, but they have a hand-polished aluminium dress rim over the top and a clean hub design. Walking down the flowing design, you can also see beautiful bodyside jewelry. And here, treated somewhat differently in that it runs across from the fender to the door, but is uninterrupted. In fact, when the door opens, this element retracts into the bodyside. Coming to the rear of the vehicle, you can still see that we have retained the Cadillac vertical lamp signature in the rear, but again, rethought it in a new way, and here, introducing two technologies in one, LED and OLED lighting. Now, I mentioned that this brief was all about uh, passion. In fact, the brief came from the many years that Cadillac designers have been attending Pebble Beach, and in particular, looking at our historical vehicles here, the Cadillac chauffeur-driven vehicles, and thinking about the idea that the driver and the passenger are having two very different experiences. And that was really what drove the interior design of this vehicle, as well as the exterior design. We wanted a design philosophy for the interior that was about lightness and simplicity. And what I can tell you is that the design team coined a phrase, simple is hard. Sitting in the driver's seat, you'll see a multi-array, three-screen curved OLED display, artistically integrated wrapped in leather and sitting atop a parquetry wood wave of American walnut. Again, a very unique approach to an interior design. 
The materials in the front of the vehicle are largely leather, but as you move to the rear of the vehicle, you start to have a different experience. And that is through the use of a wool textile inspired by men's suiting. The vehicle is trimmed, it's stitched and sewn in a similar way to a tailored suit to give a very bespoke feeling when you sit in the rear of the vehicle. From a decoration point of view, the front of the vehicle, the front compartment, largely um, is treated with milled aluminium pieces, but you'll notice the transition as it moves to the rear of the vehicle and becomes hand-finished walnut wood. The rear is a calm and comfortable place to be with covert technology that appears on demand. And that fabric theme flows through to the luggage area as well, where we want to have a very simple and clean execution of the rear end. So we decided to eliminate the cut lines on the back of the car and as the lift gate opens, the luggage floor raises to present the luggage to you. Now, many people ask, why do we do concept cars? And I can tell you, as a designer, that's an easy thing to answer. This concept is much less about portfolio vision and much more about design vision. It's an opportunity for the designers to flex their creative muscles and to explore where we're gonna take Cadillac design into the future. In fact, the design team who are here tonight not only are working on this vehicle, they're working on every production vehicle as we expand the Cadillac portfolio into the future. So it really is an exciting time for us. I hope that you've enjoyed this intimate uh, look, this preview at this vehicle, as much as I know the team has enjoyed bringing it to you. Thank you.